It's a presidential year and all eyes are on Washington, but closer to home, the microscope, microscope is focusing in on Oregon's local public officials. As one commissioner is in the throngs of an ethics complaint investigation, another pleads no contest to DUII. And a federal criminal investigation to former Governor John Kitzhaber continues a year after his resignation. So as voters head to the polls this year to re-elect or consider new leaders, NBC5 News takes a look at the long history of controversy in Oregon politics and what it means for you. One is one, two is a coincidence, three is a pattern. And we're getting more and more of the three pluses where people are starting to wake up and say, wait a minute, this is not the government that I signed up for. Controversy and scandal in American politics is nothing new. Just ask Rogue Community College political science instructor Michael Torgerson. You have Nixon, Teapot Dome, the XYZ affair. And controversy in Oregon is no different. You go all the way back to Bob Packwood. He was the junior senator from Oregon, 24 years. The only problem was in his office he was busy chasing women around his desk. So have the scandals become more prevalent or have we become more aware? Every person has a phone and every phone has camera, video editing software, and the ability to publish to the internet. A recent Pew Research survey shows Americans' trust in the federal government is the lowest it's been in a half century. In 1964, 77% of Americans said they trusted the government always or most of the time. Today, only 19% agree. They want to believe that they are these larger-than-life individuals who have pure motives and morals and will do the right thing always. But we can't wait for them to screw up. We spoke with SOU social psychologist Dr. Emily Reeder, who says it's a natural human reaction to enjoy other people's pain. Schadenfreude is a natural human emotion where we delight in other people's suffering. It's the inability to feel empathy, so instead we feel this pleasure out of kind of their failure. And Schadenfreude is ever present in politics, where voters identify more with people in their political party. If we identify as a Democrat and we see a Republican candidate, um, fail or um, suffer in some way, we enjoy that more than if it were someone from our own party because they're part of our outgroup um, or vice versa. However, if a member of our party fails, it's more disappointment than enjoyment. And philosopher Prakash Chinjiri says those feelings have been ingrained in us for centuries. Pharaohs, for example, even the kings, were often seen as representatives on earth of God. So naturally our expectation is that they would behave differently. And when they don't, he says we're reminded of how human elected and public officials are. We can be understanding, uh, but that doesn't mean that we don't hold them accountable. After all, we pay their salaries. And coming up tomorrow, we'll have some of Oregon's congressional leaders weigh in on the topic, and we'll let you know what you can do as citizens to best vet your candidates.